Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate that you can float um, regular tap water on water that is saturated with Epsom salt. I've saturated some water with Epsom salt, which you can get at the supermarket. Um, so this yellow solution here is um, a saturated Epsom salt aqueous solution, water solution, uh, with a drop of uh, yellow dye. And here I have just regular water, and I'm going to um, add slowly the regular water to the water with the Epsom salt in it, and try to layer one above the other. Now the Epsom salt solution has a higher density. Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate, a hydrated version of it. And it has a much higher density than just plain tap water or distilled water if you have access to that. And you can see that I can readily layer the regular aqueous uh, plain water above the Epsom salt solution because of the differences in their density. The regular water is less dense than the saturated Epsom salt solutions. And it's easy to layer it. You get a better layering if you go a little slower, but I'm going to go faster to save time. And it's interesting to just leave this in your room, if you're a teacher, a classroom, and see what happens over time, how long it takes them to mix together. It does take a rather long time, as you, you'll see. But it's a nice permanent display that would, uh, or semi-permanent display that you can uh, show uh, to the students. So this illustrates that uh, a solution that is more dense, the Epsom salt solution, will stay on the bottom and the less dense solution, just plain tap water with a little bit of blue dye. Put more blue dye in, in uh, just put one drop of the yellow dye, that seems to work better. And we see the green in the middle. And uh, over time, these will mix together, but it will take some time. Uh, there'll be diffusion of the Epsom salts, the magnesium sulfate up, and the water uh, and the, uh, the dyes will also diffuse up and down. The convection currents also cause some mixing of this, but it takes a fairly long time to uh, have them thoroughly mixed together. So it's a nice demonstration. And you could repeat this demonstration with the Plain water on the bottom, and the Epsom, try and put the Epsom salt solution on the top, and you'll see that you're not able to get this uh, layering of the two solutions. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration uh, showing that uh, a solution that is more dense will sink, and a less dense solution will be able to be floated above that solution. So thank you again for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you next time.